What's up guys? Today I have the Kyvo V20. It's a cordless vacuum cleaner that can do multiple different purposes around the house. If you have hardwood flooring or you have carpets, it will do a great job and it gets into those tight areas, those high areas. It's a multi-use vacuum cleaner and it's something great, especially like myself, if you've moved into a new place, you want to maintain it and have it very clean. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this to showcase to you guys what comes in there, what different types of heads that you get with it, how you can use it set it up and give you a review on how it performs. So let's get straight into it. So inside the box, you have yourself the main motorized brush. This actually has LED lights on the front, which is great if you're getting into smaller, darker places. You have the mini motorized brush, a two-in-one dusting brush, and a crevice bar brush. So there's the long bar handle, to have it as the larger vacuum cleaner. This is the main unit where it has the 300 watt brushless motor inside, which is great. I'll run through that in a second. You have yourself the user manual, the plug, and then you also have a wall mounting bracket. So if you wanted to hang this on the wall, then you can do that. Also comes with an additional filter there as well. So let me go ahead and connect this and I'll set it up with the main motorized brush first, give you guys a run through of the specs and see how it performs. So it's fairly easy to connect. You get the long bar, you clip this into the main handle first, and then you put the motorized brush, clip it there. Very easy to clip into place like so. And then now you're ready to start using it. To turn it on, you literally press the trigger there under your finger, like so. And you press it again to turn it off. There's a button here just on the top, which has three levels of pressure. Now this actually operates on the maximum level up to 25,000 Pascals, which basically is the amount of pressure and the suction that it can perform at. But the average on a lot of these cordless vacuums is around 20,000. So this one doing 25,000, it just goes that extra mile to give you the best suction for any type of dirt that you want to capture from your floors. Now the other thing I really like about this is that it has 2,500 milliamp hour Samsung battery packs in there, which gives you around 40 minutes of runtime. The battery pack is actually in the handle as well. There's a red button here that allows you to detach the handle so that you can charge the battery separately. So all you do is press this red button and it pops out. So there you have the port at the back of this to charge it. And then you can just set this up on the side. And likewise, it's very easy to slot back in. You just put it back in the side, push it in and you're there. And that's essentially all the buttons. So it's very minimalistic, which I think is great. You have some buttons here to release the different types of extension rods and put on some of the other brushes there. So you have one towards the bottom as well, and then one here at the top. Now, although this does operate at 25,000 PA, it also has low noise operation. At the maximum level, it operates around 68 decibels. So when I do go ahead and vacuum the floors, you guys can try and hear actually how loud or how not loud this actually is. So what I'm gonna do is now go and vacuum different parts of my house using these different brushes, and then also try to hear out how loud it is but I'll also give you a conclusion of how good this works. So let's get straight into it. As you guys heard, it was actually quiet enough that it wouldn't disturb other members of your household. But one thing I really like about this vacuum is that it twists and turns around corners so easily without any effort, as you can see here. In addition to that, I can get low under furniture just as easily with it being fairly light and slim and having that multi-directional rotatable head. Even on carpets, it was able to pick up dust and hairs just as easily compared to hardwood floors, which was great. Now removing the motorized head, it was super quick and easy to attach the mini motorized head just like this. And this is great for getting under those pieces of furniture that is otherwise too small for the main motorized head to fit under. My TV stand unit here is one of those examples. Now detaching the main bar, I'm connecting the two in one brush and I'll use the brush part of it to go handheld on my hardwood furniture. 
I have plenty of black wood furniture in the house which picks up dust very easily and having this handheld brush vacuum is going to be so convenient to keep things clean and it's even good enough to take dust out of my speaker systems. Finally, the crevice brush is just perfect to getting those pieces of food or other dirt that falls in between the sofas and this is what I'll use to clean the sides of my car seats as well. Now it's pretty easy to empty the dust. All you have to do is unlock it. So you've got some arrows there to indicate that. You twist it, you lift it up, just put that to the side. You can also see here, this is one of the filters that come with it. There's a spare one that came in the box. This is also washable. Now the great thing about this is this entire unit can also be placed under water to clean it out and wash it. So all I need to do is lift up the handle, open this up, and this is what's great about having a brushless motor as well. It's so easy to empty all of the dust and the particles that you've picked up, especially all the hairs that get trapped. So now I'm just gonna put that to the side. That will also be washed. And all you have to do is just empty everything straight into the bin. All comes down, very easy. And then now I can just place this under a tap to wash it. So pretty much you can wash all of it and it all comes out very easily. So just fill it up pour it up, just make sure you get every bit of the dust, quick and easy, and now that'll be ready to dry. If you'd like to use a sponge to make sure you get all of the dirt, then you can go ahead and do that as well, because obviously if things get wet, it might stay there at the bottom. And again, the same with the additional units. So overall, I'm so impressed with how easy it is for this vacuum to pick up all of the dust, the hairs on both the hardwood flooring and the carpets that I have upstairs. Now this comes in at 160 pounds on Amazon. Take a look at the description and check out the link where you can purchase this. They might have some offers and discounts running, so take a look at the latest pricing information at the time you're watching this video. If there's anything else you guys wanna know about this product, go ahead and drop a comment down below. If you like reviews for things around the house, really cool home gadgets, or anything tech, I have new videos out every week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those ones. Make sure you like this video, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.